Today I'm going to show you how I fix flickering black lines from my old TV. And just a quick disclaimer, don't try this on your brand new television which is under warranty and can get it void. And kids, don't try this at home. I want my viewers to think in a sustainable and eco-friendly way. That's why I always promote repairs, recycling, reusing and reducing the overall electronic waste. So here goes the case history. I bought this television in 2020. Back in those days, Kodak launched one of its new products, the CA series 43 inch television. I was so excited about it, seeing the quality of Kodak, old Kodak cameras. I expected the same kind of quality from the televisions as well. It cost me just about 20,000 and I was very much happy with the kind of picture quality it provided for that price. However, as soon as the warranty expired, it just stopped working. These flickering black lines appeared and within few seconds, the TV used to shut down completely. I informed this to the customer service and they said, we can't do anything else. It is out of warranty. You will have to pay for the repairs and replacement. Okay, I thought, let's go for it. How much? I inquired how much it's going to cost and what are the prices for the replacement parts. To my shock, I get to know the replacement. The only option I had was the replacement of the screen panel and that will cost me 25000 just know the difference here the tv cost me just 20000 and the replacement panel is about to cost me 25000 5000 extra more than the tv itself and the next approach was to find local technicians who has expertise on repairing these kind of problems i found one guy but he was a bit far away like uh, like 70 kilometers from my home i had to carry it to him and the charge he mentioned was 3500 for the repairs and still no guarantee that he will be able to fix the problem so that was not a good option either i will have to spend on fuel and the repairs and still there is no guarantee of getting it fixed so the only option i have was to learn about these components how televisions work and how what are the issues coming and how to repair them myself and if you are also facing a similar situation like there is no hope of repair or it's not at all feasible to get it fixed the price of the repairs is much higher than the cost of the tv itself then you should definitely try this let's get started one fine day my screen started flickering like this and some gray and black lines appeared horizontally in the lower part of the screen and even after restarting, updating the software, the thing remained the same. And within few seconds, the display turned off completely. It could have caused because of multiple reasons. Few of them are due to faulty T-Con board. It stands for timing control board and it's a crucial part of the motherboard. And it is responsible for processing the video signals and controlling the timing and synchronization of pixels on the display as the image moves. And another cause could be due to loose or faulty ribbon cables. There are a set of ribbon cables that connects various parts of the circuit board and the display panel. The ribbon cable that connects the T-Con board to the display panel may become loose because of thermal expansion and over there due to moisture, humidity and ambient conditions leading to display issues such as black lines and flickering. So another cause is due to software and firmware issues occasionally we update the software and sometimes there may be some bugs which can cause this problem and one more factor could be due to panel defects i mean most these budget tvs in some cases defects in the display panel itself can lead to the appearance of black lines they might have been unnoticed from the manufacturing itself and it reaches the customer and finally causes issues and very rare phenomena is due to electromagnetic interference and that is strong electromagnetic interference from any electronic devices which are kept nearby may also cause this and the one more. more common thing is due to voltage fluctuations in india voltage fluctuations are very common and a good voltage stabilizer may protect but i have installed one of the finest voltage stabilizers but still this happened then we have environmental factors such as ambient moisture, temperature, dust. Make sure you unplug it first. There is a risk of electric shock even when unplugged. And make sure you don't touch this power supply board region because the capacitor may still have leftover charge that can give you a tiny spark. Depending upon the brand and segment, the components may vary. But most TVs, we have these common components as a power supply board 
a main board or the logic board, the T-con board, and in, an inverter board in the case of an LCD, and an audio video processing board, and connectors and port. I cleaned the contact face of the ribbon cable with an eraser to remove any oxide layer formation and then some using isopropyl alcohol and some cotton swab i cleaned it again and checked if it's working however it didn't give any result because the oxide formation wasn't the cause here so there seemed to be some sort of short circuit in there and the overcurrent protection mechanism is actually getting triggered that's why the display is getting shut down so we have to isolate some regions which may have that short circuit so as a trial and error method, I'm masking some regions of the ribbon cable so that just in case there is any short circuit, that region will get isolated and the overcurrent protection mechanism will not trigger and the display will not shut off. So through this ribbon cable, some horizontal and vertical pixel signals are being transmitted. So we have to check like which region is getting isolated when we mask particular region and you have to be very careful while handling these ribbon cables and the plastic latch mechanism once they get damaged it's really difficult to fix them and those solder joints are very thin and requires really fine tips of soldering iron to get them solder again so you have to be very careful careful there here in my first trial i'm trying to see if the isolated regions are the one I wanted or it's some other region. I checked and it looks like okay the left and right side signals are blocked so display is coming only in the middle. So again I will remove unplug it from the power and remove some more masking tape over there and expose some more lines over there. So this time it should work. Let me check. I locked it back and powered it again. And that's moment of truth. Let's see if it works. And yes, we got the image ready. This time it's working. So the region may vary this uh, it may be on the left side on the right side you have to check by slightly masking them removing the tape and if it is it is not beyond a certain level of damage it should work but if you keep on watching with the so short circuit right there the damage will further expand and it become least repairable as the problem was resolved i decided to arrange everything back into their place and use some insulation tape to organize those wires and carefully put everything back into its place connected all the sockets Before closing the back cover, I thought to just check it once again if everything is working fine. Because if something is wrong, I have to open it again. I'm just checking it once again. Everything seems alright. I connected the speaker plug right into its socket, tight and secure so that it works properly. Then I carefully closed the back cover, aligning its locating pins right into the space and closed properly until it snapped fit. 
Then I put back all the screws, fasten them. And the television which I was thinking to discard is back to life once again. And this repair lasted for almost two years until I bought a brand new Sony television. The damage is not at all noticeable. There is a very fine thin line right there but it's not at all no visible. The picture quality wasn't significantly affected. It was good. As you can see the picture quality is not at all affected. There is only a hair like thin pixel line at the lower region which is not visible from far but if you look closer to the display you will find it but it doesn't affect the viewer experience. So I would say my repair was successful and this lasted for two long years and that's all I could expect from this television without extended warranty. For any one of you thinking to buy such budget TVs, I would recommend please buy an extended warranty. Because these TV, these days TVs just don't last longer and they are designed to fail easily because they have a short product cycle. I hope you find this video informative and educational. Let me know in the comments. And do consider subscribing to my channel. That really motivates me to post more content. Thanks for watching.